I don't know if these words have any appeal for you. If not today, one day. If not today, one day. If not this day, maybe another day, or another week, another month, another year, another decade, another life maybe, I don't know. But at some point, you will have to come back to this some way, either through a questioning like this, or by surrendering yourself entirely, abandon yourself at the feet of God. But one day you will have to drop yourself, you have to go beyond yourself. What does it mean? You see? Dropping your idea about who you are. It is important to find out the credibility of I. I feel this is common sense. To find out the credibility of I. Is I within you always constant? Or is it a shape shifter? Now it's doing this, now it's doing that. Is it one eye with lots of different uniforms? Or is it many, many eyes? And how will you know? Is it one eye changing garment? One moment, mother. One moment, something else. One moment, seeker. One moment, a child. When I was a child in the past, I can say, one moment, something else. Is it, is it one eye dressed in lots of different garments, playing different roles, or is it thousands of eyes? And what will answer this question? Which one of them? And maybe something also, maybe there's an I also that really don't find this question appealing. Maybe there's another form I can take. Or I don't I don't agree, that's another one. I agree is another one. We can come to some uh, conclusion through direct experience here. This is the opportunity of this opportunity of meeting to come to some clarity. Yeah, so uh, we are meeting now. We are all in one to one at this point. If there were un uncountable eyes arising spontaneously, according to whatever stimulus there is, an eye arises to respond or to react to that. If such was the case, what would be observing this? Don't be so quick. What would be observing that? Is it not observable? Huh? If there was an I, if there is a feeling that there are hundreds of eyes arising throughout the day, all of them different, uh, what would know this? What would be observing this? First of all, we admit it is observable uh, that such a thing happens. So it's already a fact, it is observable. By what is it observed? And I don't want the answer so quick. Allow the question some room. The question will be a bit like a mirror. Hmm? Whose face will be in it? The observer of all these, including the eye, which is the most intimate, the earliest. What is capable even of observing eye? Rather than answering the question, also uh, feel that place. You're there. You're already here. 
the one who will witness all of these. This conversation will pass, but this will not pass. Does it grow old? Can it become ill? The one who perceives even illness and become unconcerned about it. Speaking directly towards this, that in whose presence any effect can happen, any emotion can visit, any sensation is there, any thought can come, but they cannot stay, they come and go, they come and go. All is coming and going. Who is the weakness? What weakness is the comings and goings? But itself is neither coming nor going. What religion is this one? What gender? What star sign? What does it have to do in this life? Answer this question for yourself. That which witnesses time, space, relationship, memory, intellect, ego, that which discerns the difference between one thing and another, that which observes the discriminating power, yet itself is not involved in anything, not participating, just the light of perceiving arises out of him. What, did, what name does it go by? What is its native language? What belief does it need? What healing does it need, if any? Uh, who can recognize that but itself? Who can recognize this but its own self? Seeing all forms, all names and all forms, knowing that they are transient, they come and go, is the weakness of them. Can this be itself witnessed? That which is the perceiver of all form, perceiver of time, of space, of intention, of identity even, you see. That which perceives even the play of identity and perceives it casually. Who looks upon this universe of names and forms, of time and space and change and movement and perceives them casually? Who can never be intimidated? Who does not know another? Who need not refer to itself even as I? Where is the location of this? And who are you? Can you be apart from this? Who are you? you see? The world has offered you a name and you have taken it. The world has offered you a name and you have taken this name. But you were there before this name came. Who are you? What is your original name? Because of this body, which in effect is like a burning candle, which allows you to perceive. This body is a bit like the lens of the Absolute, through which the Absolute can taste experiencing for a time, because this is an experiencing body. And it imposes a certain qualities through the perceiving, you see. You, the Absolute, are tasting this body and what can be tasted through this body, through the senses and mind. 
but one day you will leave all these things you've tasted. Just in the same way, the food you had last Wednesday at 12 o'clock, can you say something about it? Where is it? Where do you keep the memory of that? In the same way, in the same way, hmm? you are eating the meal of existence. Something is consuming, and something deeper observes this consuming, but itself is not consuming. It alone knows itself. There is no other there. How far must we go? What transportation will you take? Is distance involved? Is distance involved? If we are talking about the physical universe, physical distance will be involved. Is there such a thing involved here? Distance? Perhaps conceptual distance? If you do not touch any thought about yourself, any self-definition, or hold on to any image, is common sense. Because which image can contain you? If you identify with no image, if you don't go to past, don't touch the past, for just a moment you do this, and don't stretch towards the future, which is only imagination and also based upon past. So neither past nor future, neither next or what's last. If you don't touch this, optionally, uh, who are you? Are you merely the go-between, between past and future? Who are you? Are you merely the product of time, past and future, conditioning? When it is clear also that you are the witness of conditioning also. You are capable of witnessing conditioning. Time, space, all these things we talked about. I don't know if these words have any appeal for you. If not today, one day. If not today, one day. If not this day, maybe another day, or another week, another month, another year, another decade, another life, maybe, I don't know. But at some point, you will have to come back to this, some way, either through a questioning like this, or by surrendering yourself entirely, abandon yourself at the feet of God. But one day, you will have to drop yourself. You have to go beyond yourself. What does it mean? You see? Dropping your idea about who you are.